hello guys today we are going to look at how to model a jog inside of maya this tutorial is pretty much basic so i believe it's something that you can get your hand on to do so let's look at how to do this here i am in maya first of all you need to understand the basics of maya like navigation and also um, other things if you've not just check out my maya tutorial 101 uh, for you to watch that first before you can follow along in this but if you've done that or you you are not new in maya just follow along in this tutorial okay now the first thing we need to do is to come over to polygon and insert a polygon cylinder then we go to channel and go to the poly cylinder one the input value for this and increase the height depending on how we made the cap zero zero then we add subdivision on the height then we increase the radius and kind of making the jog big press 5 to share this so that we can see it then we can raise this up okay all right by the way i just press f to frame that so i'm gonna bring this down to this point okay good now the next thing for us to do is to right click select this face and delete it then we need to select this face then select this face as well oops we can select this one after the other i'm holding down the shift key to do that so i'll just select them all right so we grab the scale tool and scale okay i might want to extrude before i scale so i'll just oops i'll just click on this button to extrude these out then um use the the offset to offset the extrusion a little bit we need to bring in the thickness somewhere there all right so I know what you're thinking is not looking like a jog never mind we are gonna make it look like a jog soon just double click on this outer edge and press B on the keyboard to turn on the soft selection then with the soft selection we can grab the scale tool and scale this a little bit uh, we need to grow this soft selection to this part so I'll hold down B with the middle mouse button and click and drag so that will allow me to grow this a little bit so I'm having that slight bend in that place all right so next up is for us to press b to deselect for the soft selection then we go over to our vertex select this vertex the down vertex and scale it in a little bit like this you can see this is turning out to look like a jug that we want it to be okay let's create an opening here you see that you do this um this way or you model it separately whichever one you want to choose i'm just going to go ahead and do it straight then i'm going to just switch to my vertex select this vertex and move this point down okay so i can move this down to this point now the next thing you can do is to select this two face and delete it So the question will now be what kind of a jog is this? So let's undo that. We are not deleting it. Okay. So what we need to do is to select this outer vertex here and pull it out this way. So that will allow us to have this um, mount opening from this part. So maybe that's too much. We also want to move this vertex a little bit out. So you can see we are having the jog look now um i know what you are thinking we need to press straight to smooth it so that you can see how it's going to look on the smooth mode but we are having some issues here uh, so we need to like select this edge and um scale it a little bit okay now we don't want this to be folding like this so what we can do is to select the the vertex here
so before we do that let's subdivide this again we just go to mesh smooth so that will subdivide this hmm? so we can move over to vertex and select this vertex so i'm using my selection tool holding down the shift key so i will just select this vertex one after the other all right so we just grab our scale tool and scale it okay so that will take care of that issue right there not really that so we can just adjust this okay um let's do it the other way around press one to move back to a polygon mode so we can use that to scale it so by the time we press 3 you can see we no longer have that on that place okay good so you can see how our jog is looking right now um you can still make changes to this if you want to by pulling these these um edges the way you if you spread them very well you get any shape you want depending on how you want the jog to look like Okay, I'm gonna just stop here. You know what to do. Now uh, the next thing for us to do is to add the cover. So we use a cylinder as well, raise it up, then we scale it down. Subdivision of two radius. We increase the radius. Maybe 1.1.3. Okay, so we remove, make this zero for the cap. Then we reduce the height and that's going to serve as the cover we want to raise this up and open this part all right so let's bring this in here we can press space bar in order to align this where you should be using the scale tool when we scale it so that's where we want that to be okay good so when we press 3 you can see it's beginning to look like it now let's move this down a little bit now maybe we don't want the cover to be so just select the vertex you can see we are beginning to have the same result here so what we need to do is we subdivide this as well to add more detail smooth then we can select the center and raise it up a little bit so we are still having that stuff we just press one and uh, we are still gonna do this again just select this unfortunately you can double click so we just have to do this quickly All right. This. So let's use the scale tool and scale this until we have the same result. You can see this is aligning properly. All right. So let's just move back to object mode and press three to smooth this. So uh, we have a better result, but um we are not having any depth in the kettle so we can select the kettle and extrude it so i'm going to change the position of the extrusion by the way i'm going to press one then we can scale this up so that we have thickness around this corner so we move this up a little bit
first I'm gonna take this one in all right all right all right all right so secondly we extrude it change the position click on this box and scale out maybe we scale in a little bit So we press 3 that should do it you get the idea so we move this in the jug is closed <laughs> how cool is that so we have our jug another thing we can do is to give it something like the opener for the head so let's just use this fair that we've created reduce the subdivision to 10 okay then I'm gonna select this age and press B on the keyboard so that I can scale it oops and just grow this selection a little bit all right that's exactly what I want okay good so we can maybe stylize this selecting this face we can press B now we are done with soft selection so we just select we can skip one and select the other one so let's select this 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 and this okay what do you think we are going to do we just extrude it inside maybe we extrude again we can do that a little bit so we'll go to object mode and press 3 you can see it's gonna add that style for the cover so what we need to do now is to move this on top so we can use this place to position it at the center raise it up so we need to scale it i'm using the scale tool we'll move it in so you can see the jog is having that maybe it's too big a little bit we can scale it down better so let's give it a handle to give it a handle i'm gonna just create a normal cube then use this input value to increase the height up to that point then um, the depth we can give it one one is too much 0.2 okay 0.05 good so that's how thick we want it let's subdivide the height then um, the scaling shouldn't be this much then we can select this middle age or probably let's use fattest press B on the keyboard then we use our move tool to move so you can see that's gonna give us that handle so we can scale this up to this point all right I think this is not the middle one we need to select the middle one okay can work with our press 3 you can see how smooth it is so the next thing we are going to do is to stick it on the body so let's scale this down and move it up so we use our vertex select this press b now we don't need the soft selection again 
let's adjust this until it fits in we can rotate it on x as x until it stick to the body you can see that so um let's use this vertex here and allow this to just touch that a little bit so we have a jog you can see pretty much easy to model a jog in Maya now I'm gonna create another tutorial which you are gonna see the link on the right hand corner after this video you're gonna see the link where you can just watch that how to actually texture this um, this jog to look very realistic as a steel jaw.